Peter chapter 2 and verse 9, it says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should shew forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and all glory to Yahab Hashem Yahushai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who do rule well. Salutation to the men of the whole plan, saints I elect. They say, Brother Makaza, out here in Trinidad, just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. And the name of this lesson will be the crowning. Alright? And the crowning soon approaching. Alright? The crowning when Yahab Hashem Yahushai, it says you are um, a... I uh, am um, a royal priesthood. Alright, because in Revelation, I'm going to read that real quick. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 6. It says, And hath made us kings and priests unto Yahweh and his father. Alright, so we are a nation of kings and priests. Be it that we part of the hopefully like, and you know, the Lord see it fit to grant us salvation. We're going to be crowned. We're going to be kings we're going to be joint heir with Yahweh Shai. We're going to be ruling with Yahweh Shai. So we're going to have crowns upon our head. And that is we will be laboring, be laboring to receive, as the scripture says, that crown of glory. All right. This is um Second Timothy chapter 4 and verse 7. It says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the feet. And we have to do just like Paul. We have to finish the course and keep the feet. Right? This is not just coming in for a while and then, you know, you do whatever you want to do. You go back in the world and then you believe, well, once you hold on to the name and keep a beard on your face, that you're going to be crowned now. The scriptures say he that enjoy it unto the end. The same shall be saved. All right? So you have to, this is not, as the scripture said, and do it for a little while. Nah, we're not gonna be the seeds that do it for a little while. You're gonna endure until you bloom, until the day of Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, henceforth, so as long as you keep the faith and finish the course, and you've either finished the course by death, all right, or by Yahweh Shai coming and deliver you up into the chariots. That's how you finish this course. Right, it says, Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which Yahushai, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. So we're looking to receive that crown at that day. When Yahushai comes and he set crowns upon their heads. Alright. It says, And not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. So the ones that love his appearing is the ones that do in this work in sincerity and truth. Doing this work with a clear conscience, not, not you know, pursuing, you know, the 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 the, the crown, because we're speaking about the crown, and not pursuing the crown, but then you know, you you doing all sorts of evil, and then in the back of your mind, you're wondering if the Lord will have mercy upon you. Nah, you you have to have a clear conscience with your house shy. All right, you have to have a clear conscience. And that is the ones who are going to love his appearing. The ones that have a clear conscience with Yahweh Shai. That is the main goal. Understand? Because we strive striving to get our crown upon our head. Alright? To receive the kingdom. To be part of the Lord's holy elect. That is what we're that is what we laboring for. To enter into that rest. Alright? The scripture says we're going to receive all things. Alright? So the crown and we're going to be part of the 144,000. We're going to receive the kingdom. We're going to live forever. We're going to reign with Yahweh Shai. That is why we're looking for that crown that, you know, to receive spiritual power. All these things comes with receiving that crown. And it don't make sense laboring and then at the end, as Paul said, to be a castaway. Labor to enter into the rest. All right. So, so strive lawfully as the scriptures rightfully said. Strive lawfully. All right. That is why Paul said, it says what? Verse 9. Do thy diligence to come unto me, um, come shortly unto me. All right, so you have to do the diligence. You have to, you have to push this truth. You have to push this word and do it lawfully. All right. This is Second Timothy chapter two and verse five. It says, "And if any man strive for the masteries, yet he is not crowned except he strive lawfully." All right. It says, "If he strive for the masteries, there's a couple of words: strive." 
Jones, G-118, Atleo, Atleo. Atleo, and where you get athlete from, it says to engage in a contest, contend in public games, contend for a prize, end your suffer. So you suffering, all right? The scripture says, if a man strive for the masteries, if a man suffer or endure for the masteries, let's look up the word masteries. It says what? To encircle with a crown, to crown the victor in a contest to adorn with honor. And it was used three times in the scriptures as crown, all right? So you want to receive that crown, that victory, and be adorned with honor. All right, and the only how you can get strong G forty seven thirty seven Stefanao Stefanao. Yeah, all right. The only how you're gonna receive that crown is if you labor on to the end. You have to labor, you have to push this truth because the Lord have a crown laid up for you. But it says, What if you endure, if you're suffering for that crown, you have to suffer lawfully, which means what lawfully agreeable to the law properly all right it says legitimately down here legitimately um specially agreeable to the rules of the lists all right so you have to go according to the list and the lord give us the guidelines the lord give us the commandments which we follow to the best of our abilities and the lord give us commandments how to deal with one another how to love one another so, the, so you have to go according to the guidelines. You have to go according to the guidelines of the contest, of the race, the spiritual race, so that you could make it to the crowning. Your goal is to make it to the crowning. So make it to the crowning and the crowning comes at the end. Stop looking for that crowning now. Stop looking to receive honor and praise. No, this is not the place you're going to receive it. The scriptures... Let me read this real quick. This is second Ezra. Is it second Ezra? Is it second Ezra? Um, yes, yeah, second Ezra chapter four and verse twenty-eight. But as concerning the things we have, thou ask me, I will tell thee, for the evil is soon, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down. And if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. So this is the place where evil is sown and it's going to be destroyed. So why you want to have praise and honor here? This is not the place for that. This is the place to exit. To. The scripture says, arise here and depart for it is polluted and it will destroy you even with a sore destruction. So this is not the place. This is not the place to be looking, you know, for... um. For praise and honor to receive a crown to receive glory now nah. we're looking to exit we're looking to enter into that rest and receive the crown in the kingdom which you have a will give you but you have to strive lawfully all right wisdom of solomon chapter 5 and verse 15 but the righteous live forevermore the righteous will live forevermore the righteous the one that do righteousness right right uh, righteously the one that strive lawfully according to the list, according to the commandments, according to, as the scripture says, you know, my friends, if you do all the things that I command you, all right, that is the only time you're going to receive that crown. All right, it says, but the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with the Lord. So only when you have a shy come, you're going to receive, as the scripture says, my reward is with me. So you're not going to receive that crown before. It's only when you have a shy comes, but you have to do the right guidelines to receive it. All right? It says, and the care of them is with the Most High. It says, therefore, they shall receive a glorious kingdom. Don't you want that glorious kingdom? Which you're going to receive to the end. The scripture says they're going to receive a more exceeding weight of glory. All right? Read Romans chapter 8 and 18. All right? It says, and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. It says, for this, um, for with his right hand shall he, for with his right hand shall he cover them, and with his arm shall he protect them. All right? So you, you're going to receive that glorious crown from the Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, that glorious kingdom. And the only how you're going to receive it is if you strive lawfully. All right? You, you could fool men, but you can't fool the Lord if you're not doing this thing 
according to the right format you're gonna be one like them that's saying lord lord you're gonna be one of them one of the lot that's saying lord lord all right you have to the scripture says consider yourself it says know you not your own self all right know you not your own self you have to know yourself all right this is the final precept here i'm not gonna make the lesson too long this is second as just chapter 2 and verse 40 says take thy number of zion and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white which have fulfilled the law of the most high it says the number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled 144,000. it says beseech the power of the lord that thy people which have called which have been called from the beginning may be hallowed it says i ezra saw upon the mount sign a great people whom i could not number and they all praise the lord with um with songs it says and in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature taller than all the rest and upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted which i marveled at greatly so yahweh is the one who gonna give you the crown stop looking for your glory now stop looking for praise and honor and a title now all right it says, So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? And he answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and have put on the immortal. Means that we're not going to be in this physical body anymore. We're going to be in supernatural bodies. All right? And have confessed, and have confessed the name of Yahweh. Now are they crowned and receive palms. Now are they crowned and receive palms, receive victory. All right, you only gonna be crowned in the kingdom. So labor to enter into that rest, be part of the first resurrection. All right, it says, Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowned them and gave them palms in their hands? It says, So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is his name, whom they have confessed in the world. Not in the kingdom, we're going to learn the name. We have to confess him in the world, among the nations. Confess him among the nations. Whom they have confessed in the world. Then I began greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. And guess what? And the men of Great Millstone and the ones that hold to the doctrine of Great Millstone are the ones that stand stiffly for the name. Not deviating to the left or to the right, but holding firm onto the name and the doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Shai. And those are the ones that mainly gonna be crowned as long as you strive lawfully. Alright, so labor to enter into that rest because the time of crowning is almost here. First of all, we have to go through the time of threshing. And the time of threshing where the Lord gonna thresh the, the um the wine press is is almost upon us. Alright, so we have to escape that, endure through that. All right, because the scripture says, though these three men were in it, they shall be saved for their righteousness. All right, so your righteousness is going to save you. Righteousness is going to save the righteous. All right, so, so strive lawfully to enter into that rest and to be crowned. All right, so with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy and do rule well. Salutation to the men of the whole plan, since they elect. This is your brother Marcus out here in Trinidad saying Shalom and stay strong. Shalom.